The I-Team has learned new information about a drug investigation turned police shooting on Jacksonville's north side last Thursday. Police now say 38-year-old Eric Thornton was the driver of a minivan who was shot and killed by police. Police also arrested a passenger in that vehicle. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avani joining us now live outside the Duval County Jail with more on the man in custody. Eric? Yeah, that passenger who is now in custody has been identified as 29-year-old Brian Brightman. He is a convicted drug dealer with a very long history of drug arrests, and he is no stranger to the staff here at the Duval County Jail. Take a good look at this cell phone video of the crime scene inside the parking lot of the Sagefield apartment complex. There is a white minivan surrounded by unmarked police cars. This minivan was under surveillance when investigators say narcotics officers observed a known drug dealer making multiple drug transactions. Investigators say that when officers moved in on the van, the driver, identified as 38-year-old Eric Thornton, got out of the vehicle with this knife in his hand and started running. Thornton reportedly turned back at the officers, and that's when two of the officers shot and killed him. Two neighbors who witnessed the event explained what they saw and heard. I heard like the tire squealing of um, the cops pulling up or whatever, and then I heard like um, like I heard a bunch of screaming. Whatever. It was like, drop the knife, drop the knife, and then um, and then they just shot him, and that was it, pretty much. I just seen them enter in. The cops were screaming at him, "Get down, get down!" I actually just got off of work. Uh, I know the other gentleman had a knife. Uh, officers were engaged. They ended up shooting the gentleman. Uh, they got the other gentleman out of the white van and put him on the ground. The man police took into custody was the passenger who was reportedly observed dealing illegal narcotics. He's identified as 29-year-old Brian Brightman, a convicted drug dealer who was the target of this narcotics investigation. Not only is he accused of dealing fentanyl from the passenger seat of this van, but police say he also had his 8-year-old son in the back seat. The little kid, I saw him, them like pull him out of the back seat. Last year, when the boy was 7 years old, he was with his father when his father and another man were pulled over by a state trooper and arrested on multiple drug charges. The charges against Brightman were eventually dropped, but he has a long history of arrest and convictions for possessing and selling cocaine. In fact, back in 2016, when Brightman was an inmate at the Duval County Jail, he was convicted on drug conspiracy charges after investigators discovered drugs were being smuggled into the jail. Investigators recorded phone conversations in which Brightman was heard telling a woman on the outside how another man could smuggle narcotics into the jail by hiding the drugs in his shoes. And now another bombshell. After showing Sagefield apartment complex neighbors this older mugshot of Brightman, they still recognized him as one of the people who was living in this fourth floor apartment. Neighbors we spoke with said he had been living here since November and they suspected drug activity based on the amount of foot traffic they were seeing to and from the apartment. One neighbor told News for Jax she recorded videos of that traffic. Brightman remains locked up here at the Duval County Jail without bond. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.